Wait, I just heard someone. No, right outside. I'll call you back. We got the money, let's go! Come on! Bitch kicked me in the chance! So let's tell my rubber bag with you! Oh, we'll see about that. Please! Freeze! Motherfuckers. Piss off, Rain! You sure did piss me off by robbing that bank. It was fun and easy. Wanna go to jail or the morgue? On the count of three! Okay. One! <laughs> Where are you? Oh! This is Chief Olisu. Has the bank heist been resolved? Yes, ma'am. Good job, Rain. But there's a mannequin threatening to blow up the electronics store on Calvary Avenue. I'm on it. Fuck you, Rain. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I can, I can get out of here. I can hardwire it. Just... Okay, bye. <laughs> Chief, I need a new bike. Understood. But for the time being, I need to commandeer a vehicle. Police! I need your truck! Hey! Okay, sir. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, I better run! I'm gonna blow the fuck out of this electronic store! And then the whole block! You understand me? Ain't nothing gonna survive! <laughs> hey, sir! You wanna talk about this? My bomb does the talking around here! <laughs> Rain, it appears this guy hasn't actually got a bomb. Understood, Chief. Rain. It's all taken care of. Don't worry about it. Haha! <laughs> We're gonna blow the fuck out of this! Who the fuck are the cops? Here I come! <laughs> Disarmed. Freeze cap. No. No. Oh, oh shit. Shit. No. No. Let's talk, motherfucker. Makes you think you can blow things up, huh? I'll go. Oh, oh, come on, answer me. Oh, no. Rain. Glad you're back. Not bruised. I hope. Nope. Thanks for the concern, Valeria. Chief wants to see you. Thought you might. So everything turned out okay, I take it. Just in the morning. Say about you and Valeria, why are you in your underwear? And this station sure looks deserted. Almost as if we're about to... Have a threesome. I brought the cool whip. Cool. Hey, thanks for the new bike. There was a murder this morning at Pack House, Tan. See what you can find. Okay. And do be careful. Well, if you insist. And another one bites the dust. Oh, what is going on? I don't understand. This can't be him. It can't be. I'm so sorry. Frank, what are you doing? Put it down, Frank! Put it down! <laughs> the body's ready for transport. The coroners will be back any minute now. Log indicates his Jane Doe was recently involved in conducting a tumor surgery on one Mr. Stein, who's missing, presumed dead. This surgery was carried out illegally by two others. No other information has been gathered at this time. Who was this Mr. Stein, anyway? Hmm. I'm hungry. I think I'll stop off for a chimichanga. Here's your posada, Rain, sir. Thank you, Baron. How's the city been treating you? Hmm. Just fine. How about you? Ah, uh, it could be better. Something wrong? 
Uh, all right. Have you tried these pesadas, mister? Get down on the floor. I will cut this motherfucker. And then you. Huh. Now I don't think you're going to do that. What do you mean? Sucker. <laughs> Have a nice day. Sure could be the same killer. Hmm. Who are you? You didn't do this, did you? No, but I know who did. My name is Coogan. This was Stevie. You've been to Peck Tower 10, haven't you? What's the girl's name? Sandy. Uh-huh. And you three, uh, upgraded on Mr. Stein, haven't you? His first name's Frank. Frank Stein. Interesting. You're saying you think this Frank Stein is out there killing the back alley? Red to dive surgeons that removed his tumor? It seems that way, Chief. I'm about to question him. I'll question him. Be my guest, Valeria. So tell me all about it, Coogan. No bullshit. Frank was just a poor vagrant with a tumor. Us guys were making fun of him at first, but we eventually became friends. Well, long story short, we got drunk one night and decided to remove the tumor ourselves. We three each had failed medical school, but in any case, we thought we could do it. Of course we did, but something went wrong. See, Frank was never one to talk, but he was a nice one. But that surgery, it turned him mad. I knew our friend was dead when those eyes went pitch black. Holy dumb fuck. You and your friends are murderers. No. He's the murderer. And I'm next. You guys gotta protect me. We have to find Frank's time. He's out there somewhere, Rain. As you wish, Chief. I'll sort it out. So this is where it happened. Yes, sir. What are the chances he'd be hiding here? Well, we found him here. We always hung out here, and we did it here. This is this is the only place. The place most familiar to him. Yes, sir. Look. This is what we did it with. Looks like the murder weapon, too. So he is here. Calm down, Coogan. I'm here to protect you, remember? Fuck you, Frankstein. Fuck you, Frankstein. You obviously do not know who you are fucking with. Yeah, those responsible for turning him mad. All good. But he's still a crazy fuck and I have no idea what he's gonna do next. You can talk, can't you, Frank? You can talk to me. Tell me all about it. That's a cool scar you've got there. This is my heavy machine gun, they call it the Ripper. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude, I sold it to you. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Next angry mob of perps I see, I'm gonna blast it. Could you two please keep the lethal weapons away from the psychotic killing machine here? <sighs> Getting her back, don't worry. <sighs> Did 
need to borrow your truck again. Okay. Thanks. Here, this is the cockpit. Ouch! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Feel too good. Looks like you got some brain exposed there. Well, you wanna go another round or not? Looks like you about had it, Frank the Fuckstein. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you're done. Oh, <sighs> Fuck, what a long fucking day. I don't feel too good. I think I'll be okay. I know, I know, girls. I I look like heck. You should see the other guy, huh? <laughs> yeah, 